The Las Vegas Raiders got the dub last night against the failing Green Bay Packers. But all was not well with Raiders owner Mark Davis, who appeared to be screaming obscenities at the Raiders head coach live on TV. At least Mark was able to find companionship with a new date, a date who bears an uncanny resemblance to his famous date last year. Max Crosby was yanked from an interview congratulated by the most recent successful head coach for the Los Las Vegas Raiders, Rich Passaccia. Devontae Adams seems to be proven right about Jordan Love. It was an ugly win, but not as ugly as some of the decisions that Jordan Love was making during the game. And Marcus Peters was making plays a week after liking a post on social media, suggesting that the Raiders head coach be fired. The Raiders have still not scored 20 points in a single game, but they got the dub. I'm delusional and believe again. Like and subscribe for more Raiders content. Overall, the defense save the day for the Las Vegas Raiders in this matchup. Robert Spillane, who has one of the biggest necks that I've seen in the entire world, well, that neck came in handy today as Spillane picked up two interceptions on the day. The first one was just Jordan Love thrown into ridiculous traffic. But Spillane, the new free agent acquisition from this past offseason, made the play and also was able to get a pick that deflected from Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters got his hands in there, and the Raiders' defense actually got turned turnovers in a game. It was freaking insane. So Patrick Graham, the defensive coordinator, can no longer be a scapegoat this year for Josh McDaniels. Sorry, genius Josh. And maybe Chandler Jones was onto something when he posted on social media that he would rather the Ivy League man Patrick Graham be the head coach of the Raiders. Hey, if things go south to Josh McDaniels, maybe Patrick Graham will be the interim head coach. And Amik Robertson, the former fifth round draft pick in 2020, saved the day at the end of the game for the Raiders, getting the game ceiling interception by Jordan Love. Jordan Love just took a shot here when the Packers were desperate late in the game. And Amik Robertson, even though he's a short guy, even though everybody's hated on this guy's height, he was able to get some mad hops here and get the pick. And it's great seeing the 2020 draft pick get this interception. He's always been doubted coming out of Louisiana Tech when he was drafted by the Raiders and John Gruden back then. It was very emotional for the guy. Yes, sir. We're gonna pull the we're gonna pull the trigger and make you a Las Vegas Raider. Congratulations, Amik. All right, man. You ready to roll? The Raiders did not have starting cornerback Jacorian Bennett or Nate Hobbs available in this game, so Amik Robertson stepped in and he really balled out. With him performing so well, you have to wonder, are the Raiders going to try to get this guy involved more throughout the season? I think they should. Josh McDaniels and his offense really needs to get more involved in this game, putting up less than 20 points. Like we mentioned, the Raiders, along with the Patriots, are the only teams in the world right now in the NFL who have not scored more than 20 points in a game. Derek Carr and the Saints were in that category, but fixed that after beating the New England Patriots this week. And now the Raiders are going to face Bill Belichick and the Patriots. Should be an easy game for Josh McDaniels. Marshawn Lynch was getting Josh Jacobs pumped up in the game. He was also huddling up with the offense, trying to get involved in the huddle there. But it did not make a difference in this game. The run blocking was atrocious. Josh Jacobs struggled for a majority of the game. Jimmy Garoppolo threw an interception again. And you saw some weird decisions by the guy. And the Raiders were taking sacks. McDaniels looked pissed off on multiple occasions, and the offense just could not get going. Even though they're getting most of the money on this team, a majority of the salary is going to the offense. This is why people have been frustrated with Josh McDaniels. This is why Marcus Peters, who ended up making some big plays in this game, actually ended up having a horse collar in this game that people were pissed off about. But if it wasn't for Marcus Peters doing that horse collar, the Packers would have scored a touchdown and they would have been able to maybe win this game against the Raiders. So it was a game-saving penalty by Marcus Peters getting the flag there on the busted coverage. Then the Raiders were able to hold the Packers to a field goal. But the week prior, Marcus Peters was liking posts on social media. This post of doing a plunge, saying to fire Josh McDaniels, upset about the loss last week in the LA Chargers matchup. But I guess maybe Marcus Peters' thumb just slipped and everything's A-OK. -okay. Maybe the Raiders would have scored more points in this game. You had two missed field goals by by Daniel Carlson. Hey, maybe it would have been a more decisive win had they made those. And Devontae Adams appears to be proven right about Jordan Love. He had previously said prior to joining the Raiders that he wanted to do big things in his career and no offense to Jordan Love, but he wasn't going to risk Rodgers not being there. Quarterbacks are, you know, on the, in Green Bay. You know, I love Jordan Love, especially he's a, he's a great
great guy, but you know, I just I got I got aspirations of doing really really big things and and being remembered. And I just you know it just wasn't really a point in my career that I was willing to to sacrifice. Um, you know, Aaron not being there. You know, after a year or two. Jordan Love was a complete disaster in this game. Like we mentioned, throwing multiple interceptions. He appeared frustrated. He appeared like he's not ready for the big stage. Devontae Adams is obviously satisfied to beat his former team because now we don't have to hear about how he shouldn't have left. We beat him. Not, nobody can make up this crazy narrative and talk about how I shouldn't have left and all of this stuff. You know, that, that was getting ready to come if we didn't win it, so. Max Crosby was also celebrating the victory, but he got pulled aside by a former interim head coach for the Raiders, Rich Pisaccia, in the middle of an interview. And it's funny to see that at first Crosby resisted it and Rich was like, no, come here, man. Give me a freaking hug. It just shows that these guys had a close relationship. You know Max Crosby wanted him to become the head coach after that 2000 21 playoff appearance, but Mark Davis decided to go with Josh McDaniels and the rest is history and the rest of these guys got to move on. They got to be professional. Rich Pisacci is the special teams coach of the Packers right now, but it was interesting to see that moment after the game. What could have been for Raider Nation? What could have been for everybody? And maybe Mark Davis was thinking about that himself as he sat on the sideline, frustrated, frustrated with some of the decision making by Josh McDaniels in this game. Like we mentioned, there's fat stacks. Big money going to the offense, but the offense continues to struggle week in and week out. And this week, they got completely bailed out by a budget defense, a budget blue collar defense that does not cost that much money. Patrick Graham looked like the better coordinator, the better coach than Josh McDaniels. And Mark Davis had a nice day. He was hanging out with, seems like his date at the game prior to going to the game. And they're actually playing some slots. So Mark Davis is a everyday man playing some slot machines, just like me and you. <laughs> and everybody noticed Mark Davis date. This was the same date that was actually at the SoFi Stadium game when Mark Davis told some fans they need to smarten up when fans were getting a little crazy at Mark Davis demanding that he fired Josh McDaniels. Well, Mark Davis today in his home base, not at SoFi Stadium, seeming to be channeling some of the fans that he encountered last week. The Raiders on fourth and one decided to go for a field goal, and they really should have just put this game away, trusted their offense that's making tons of money to just end this game rather than letting the Packers hang around. And Mark Davis, it appears like, was frustrated with some of this conservative play calling here. And, and he's saying, what an asshole. I don't know who this is about. I'm not going to put words in anybody's mouth, but it looks like the guy is saying, what an asshole. And I think the only asshole he could be thinking about if he's channeling Raiders fans is Josh McDaniels. But it at least he had his date who was there to comfort him, not the same date that he had last year, the Cirque de Soleil performer who was hanging out with Mark Davis. His new date got to witness Mark Davis go through a flurry of emotions. They are bonding. And this is a musician named Orion, a musician who has been a singer, songwriter and guitarist for Michael Jackson before. And this person was hanging out with her very cool Raiders hat, chilling with Mark Davis at the game. That's the best seat in the house for sure. Because of the annoying Taylor Swift happening these days, it's so freaking lame. We need the Raiders to win more games. We need Orion to be at more games and push Taylor Swift out of the way. Hopefully the Raiders offense can smarten up like Mark Davis suggests that everybody does and get right back on track. The defense seems much better than expected compared to last year. The Raiders have some favorable matchups coming up against the Patriots, against the Bears, against the Lions, Giants, and Jets. So there is a possibility that the Raiders could go on a win streak, even if there are some ugly wins just like Monday night. And I mentioned this in one of my previous videos that there is a pathway to nine wins. Do you think there is a way that the Raiders could end up with nine wins? We are going to break down how. I'm not sold on Josh McDaniels, but if he could get it together, then maybe it could happen. Maybe he needs to have a conversation with Mark Davis and get right back on track. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments below. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.